Henrietta Muir Edwards, Louise McKinney, Irene Parlby, and Nellie McClung. These women were known as Canada's Famous Five. They're famous because in the early 20th century, despite great opposition and intense pressure, they succeeded in changing Canadian society and the law to recognize that women are persons. It seems crazy to think that just over 100 years ago, women did not have the same legal rights as men. But because of the sacrifice and hard work of the famous five, women today enjoy the same legal equality that men do, and these statues honor them for that. It is their struggle and eventual success that give those of us who fight injustice today much hope. We at CCBR are trying to change Canadian society so that it recognizes the personhood of another group of people, the unborn. Now we know that we're not the first to fight great injustice, and there is wisdom in the saying that those who do not know their history are doomed to repeat it. That's why we've made a point of studying history, of looking at social reform movements that have preceded our own. One of the most important lessons we learned is that social reform happens when people know the ugly details of injustices. Consider Emily Murphy. She once encountered a woman who had worked on her family farm for 18 years, and then she was suddenly abandoned by her husband, who sold their home and left her to care for her children with no money and no support. As if that weren't bad enough, this woman had no legal recourse because she wasn't considered a person under the law. This ugly reality horrified Emily Murphy, and it set ablaze within her a fire of conviction to bring an end to the injustice against women. In our research, we have found that when injustice is exposed, it motivates people to bring an end to it.